lot of negative things about Mount Vernon, but I, I'm, I'm glad to know that people like you, young, young guys, have been around long enough to understand the, the plight and understand the journey we've come through. And um, I'm predicting that you will take your place in the leadership to direct us in a course that I think we should be on. Uh, it's going to take that. And um, I'm hoping that you start yesterday right. and educating people because I think when people don't have information, they're still going to make a decision. Right. The information is going to be flawed because they don't have enough input to make the right decision. And this is what you see. We've had leader after leader after my administration was no longer. We had leader after leader uh, that I have to question their sincerity about helping people rather than helping themselves. Right. Uh, this job is not worth it if you don't help the people. Try to help the people. Uh, so I'm hoping that we can have uh, a group of enlightened people mm. uh, to, to make that change. And uh, that's why I touted you when I saw you immediately, that this kid's got something on the ball. When I was lecturing at, a, at the college down the street in my yeah. first semester. And so, um, we can't give up. I mean, we've had darker days than this, uh, but good people are gonna have to stand up. That's a fact. We gonna make it happen, though. So I know we can do it. We gonna make it happen. Watch. Let me keep getting the jewels. We gonna make it happen. Watch. Tell yeah, me. Let me Come. just. Let me just. Let me just say this. I'm a southerner from Charlotte, North Carolina, but I went to North Carolina A&T University, State University, and. We started to sit in in Greensboro, North Carolina. We didn't know what we were doing. Which but did. what we did know is that the course that the city, in the, especially the southern part of the country, was going on the wrong direction. And I never forget, in fact, I talked to uh, one of the kids, you know, I think there's two survivors one of the kids and um, he came to me and he said, Dave, we're supposed to be the leaders of tomorrow, yet we can't go where the most ignorant white man can go. Can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, I didn't take it a lot serious. And I said, well, what are you going to do? He said, we're going to sit at this counter until we're served. And that's what they did. They took their books, they studied at the counter, and all of the, all, to stop that movement, all they had to do was serve the kids. Word. But they didn't want to do that. Ignorance. And so it caught on all over the country. Integration, so I'm though. Saying, I've seen much more difficult things get resolved um, in a way that nobody can guess that it would have done that, the impact. So Mount Vernon has done a lot of good things. So we, we want to eliminate the negative and accentuate the positive. That's a fact. Y'all heard it. Ex-Mayor, Mayor Ernie D, champ of the city.
and glory be, man. Peace out till next time.